All right, so basically in the past hour, I've been screaming at the top of my lungs about these NFTs that just recently came out that could be 100x potential. I have a very strong and detailed argument that we're gonna be talking about in this video of how they could play out in a big way. Guys, NFTs are huge, obviously, but the biggest problem is getting into them before anybody else. Not only that, but these pre-sales have these gas wars where you can pay $400 per transaction for gas fees and it's super congested and everybody wants a part of it. NFTs are obviously big and me saying 100x NFT is not out of the ordinary. There's already NFTs that have done way more than 100x's. So in this video, I think I found the platform and the best part about it is they are not sold out. It is not sold out and I'm letting you guys know first, keep watching. What's going on everybody, Alex back with another video and today we're going to be talking about potentially 100x NFTs. Now this is not financial advice, but I've personally put money into these NFTs and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Now again, NFTs, obviously extremely powerful. We got Logan Paul, Jake Paul, we got, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk, we got Van Gogh, Van, Van Gogh, okay, Van Gogh is making NFTs. The art world is being taken by a storm with these NFT projects. Some of the NFTs are even more expensive than the physical artwork themselves. Some digital NFT shoes are being sold for like $60,000. It's absolutely ridiculous. This space is going ballistic. And honestly, I think I found something that you should be aware of. Now, before I jump into the actual video, the next best thing, you know, besides the NFT is uh, subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and of course, sharing it with a friend. I provide you guys with cryptocurrency research in an unbiased way i will never ever accept a sponsorship for any coin or any platform because i provide my own product called the fundamentalseekers.com if you don't know what i'm talking about this sounds like gibberish i highly recommend that you guys get some education i'll leave the link in the description below again the fundamentalseekers.com is where you get pretty much all of my research firsthand and then i launch it on youtube later as well as complete in-depth tutorials i have coaches that walk you through step by step etc you get the point but in this video i really want to be clear i have a strong case for 100x nfts a very strong case now i could be wrong again now this is financial advice and i'm just getting into the nft world but if you guys know me i dive extremely deep with the research and pretty much i've been diving so deep into these nft platforms i've been following all the biggest nft creators i've been looking at the reasons why they're doing well i've been uh i bought some nfts myself on the ethereum blockchain you know i invested uh i got into some of the discord groups i've been going I've been going balls deep into this, uh, you know, NFT world for sure. And there is a lot of potential. But the problem is, like I said in the beginning of the video, the big problem is that everybody's trying to do the same thing. These discords are huge, right? There's so many people. And then if you want to get in on, you know, a presale and you want to mint like a, a new NFT, sometimes it's like five Ethereum. It's unaffordable. These are mintable and affordable. Let me say that again. These right now are not sold out and they're affordable. And the reason why I think they're going to be very valuable, I'll, I'll go into that, but let's jump into this right here. First thing I want to make you aware of is the Foundation Phantom is a smart contract platform. Uh, it's like, I think, number 70 on CoinGecko, so it's it's relatively new. It's been pumping. I got into Phantom. I'm already up about like 9%. Um, you know, they have an ERC-20 or Ethereum token, but they also have smart contract capabilities and they recently came out with NFTs. That's a sneak preview, but it's not just because there's NFTs on Phantom make them hundred X because we do have, uh, you know, for example, NFTs on Solana. They're not like hundred X. They're pretty expensive though. They're like $5,000 for soul punks. This is on Solana. And we do see NFTs on Cardano selling for, you know, as you can see there, 580 a, these are the most expensive projects. So it's only about a thousand bucks. Um, you know, this is not really 100x yet, but the reason, and I want to make a case, and you'll understand what I'm saying. I think they're going to 100x is because they made the first ever NFT bridge from Phantom to Ethereum, but I'll explain. Let's just first watch this video to see the new developments because it's not only developments in Ethereum, um, it's actually developments in the ecosystem itself. Let me just play a couple minutes of this video here. Yeah, man, it's, uh, it's been crazy. Yeah. So just like, like a constant elevated heartbeat with everything that's going on really kind of a surreal feeling to believe in something so strongly and then to just watch the rest of the world like jump on it you know Absolutely. so so something happened yesterday something yeah. huge happened and i'm not talking about andre proposing marriage to phantom i'm talking about uh phantom uh releasing the incentives program for developers that's what we really want to talk about today and 
So for anyone that doesn't know, obviously, you know, other networks were pumping money into their ecosystem. Um, and those incentives were for farmers and people that were providing liquidity. And, you know, so I'm in multiple chats with Simone and, and as shortly as I would say two and a half or three weeks ago, we were debating the incentives, uh, pros and cons. And, you know, it just didn't look like it was something that Phantom was going to do. And then you guys, you must have had some some heavy team meetings to come up with a way that made it make sense. Could you, Would you mind shedding some light on that for us? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so that, that's absolutely right. So what you said uh, is true. So um, up until very recently, we didn't we didn't want to we didn't want to do an incentive program because just because we didn't find the right formula, right? So uh, I mean, myself being being a marketing guy for me was I was considering I, I still consider um, the other incentive programs a sort of marketing budget, right? Whatever the amount it is, and uh, consider it as advertising money. Because that's what they they did on other networks, and um, but still, you know, I, I could understand, you know, Andres' point and Mike's point and Michael Chen point that, sure, I mean, we can do it, but then, you know, yes, we're gonna get a lot of attention, we're gonna get, you know, very likely a lot of users, and then they will leave, right, for the next one, you know, once the next network, you know, whatever network, you know, does the next incentive program, then, you know, the TVL would migrate, so. Um, the, the big difference between Phantom incentive program and the other incentive programs is that Phantom, I mean, it's, it's genius because, you know, Andre is clearly the mastermind of this. And, uh, and you know, when this, this thing came up, I was like, holy shit, yes, this makes sense. Uh, and, and as you said, basically, we incentivize builders to come to Phantom and it doesn't stop there. So there's the, the game theory part, right, that I like to talk about, which is, okay, you can come to Phantom and then you have two choices as a protocol. You just deploy your, you know, your DAP, your protocol, and then, you know, hope that people use it and that's fine. For you, it's basically zero cost and, you know, it's a very asymmetric bet. You know, you just leave it there and potentially people come. If your TVL is going to be above 5 million, you're going to get rewarded. Or you can actually put in some more work and get creative and find ways of incentivizing people maybe initially or maybe just find you know a good narrative so that people come to you and increase that tvl and you start getting those rewards as a protocol once you get those rewards those are not liquidity mining rewards you can do whatever you want so of course absolutely you can use them for liquidity mining and i've already talked to uh, some projects you know already in phantom that are already qualifying and qualified for for this program, and they potentially will use some of that award for liquidity mining. But it, it's really up to them. So it's 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 a very inclusive system, and most importantly, it's really uh, designed so that it's built for stickiness. You know, so that it's not just people come in and go; it's people come in and stay because there's you know there's this sort of bond that gets created between users and the protocol and then now is this something to where you have like tvl checkpoints that that a project can hit and as they continue to grow and bring in more tvl that's something that they get rewarded in a greater way is that correct correct so at the <clears throat> moment we only have two bands so the the five million to 100 million band and uh if you fall as a protocol if you fall in that band you get 1 million FTM vested over 12 months, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. And uh, and if you go above 100 million, then you get 5 million FTM. So so somebody com comes in, they deploy their DAP, um, they hit the 5 million mark, right? I mean, I mean, even for a million phantom, let's say let's say we're hovering around a buck, right? What's a million divided by 12? We're looking at like 80,000 dollars a month roughly right so you get 20 grand a week if you come on and deploy a dap that gets to 5 million tvl that's essentially what you're saying right exactly that <laughs> that's yeah. exactly what i'm saying yep yeah so that's huge their incentive program is big there i would not be surprised if we have a lot of developers going over to phantom just for this reason that's absolutely ridiculous if you just get 5 million tvl for your project you can get uh like you said eight thousand dollars a month in phantom which phantom's about 83 cents right now and it's been pumping absolutely ridiculous so i i don't know man cardano competition cardano's already number three on coin gecko phantom 
like number 73 higher risk high reward so this is a better asymmetrical bet i'm gonna have to hold on to some phantom that's huge that is huge but that's not the nft so if we come over here to andre cronier if you don't know who he is he basically invented urine finance which is one of the most revolutionary protocols in DeFi. he's basically they call him the father of decentralized finance he created this protocol and now he's basically fully involved with phantom as you can see here he's also heavily involved with curve.finance and now you have the ability to earn yield on your phantom with curve.finance but that doesn't start stop there basically he changed his name to uh ftx andre now they basically bought his handle so he's clearly super involved with phantom and remember this, this is the godfather this is the father of decentralized finance so you must pay attention he's really genius he made keeper which right now is revolutionary pretty much every concept he keeps coming up with is big time um and he's heavily involved with phantom to the point where he allowed them to buy his his actual his name his twitter handle if we come over here this is where it gets serious okay so right here um andre cornier retweeted this a test for ERC 721 NFT token bridge from Ethereum to Phantom and from Phantom to Ethereum. This is where it blows all of the other projects out of the water because if we look at Solana, these NFTs are already selling for a lot and they mimic obviously the big selling NFTs on Ethereum, you know, with the cyberpunks and everything or the crypto punks, excuse me, not cyberpunk, the crypto punks, um, they, they mimic the same thing and that's the only reason they're selling for a lot but the problem is is that you can't sell this on open seas you know platform you can't sell this crypto punk on ethereum it's isolated in the solano ecosystem it's I, let me say again these solana nfts are isolated in the solana ecosystem the only reason some of these nfts are selling for millions of dollars is for the simple fact that it's on ethereum it's on Ethereum. It has the security of Ethereum, has the longevity of Ethereum. And it's the same thing for ADA. ADA NFTs are not selling for a lot because it's not on Ethereum. And let me just come back over here to blow your mind a little bit more. Phantom is coming out with an NFT bridge. An NFT bridge. We are going to get NFTs on Phantom that can go to Ethereum and vice versa. This is astronomically big. And guess what? There's a couple NFT projects that are already sold out on Phantom, but there's some that are, aren't. And this is what the video is about. I'm going to show you guys. This is what I mean by 100x opportunity. You're getting the mints early and you're going to be able to cross bridge transfer. I don't know. This is obviously a completely new world. Everything I'm talking about is pure speculation. Um, but this, I mean, you, for obvious reasons, blows my mind. So if we come over here, we can see that the uh, Phantom Punks are already sold out. They're, they're minted out of existence. I wish I would have knew about this earlier. I would have purchased it myself. They're already sold out. They're gone. If, if we go to the marketplace, they haven't even dropped the marketplace. This is how early we are. This is like the video and leave a comment below if you appreciate the fact that I'm giving you guys these updates way before it happens, not like when it pumps. A lot of these YouTubers, and I've seen it before, they'll literally just create a video after the coin pumps. After the coin pumps 100%, then they make the video just for the simple fact that people are hyping around it right what i try to do is i let you know ahead of time so that you could potentially make money right that, that's literally an obviously you know, financial advice but what's the point in telling you after it pumped it's not going to do you any good we come over here we have another one that's called world of umens this one's gone 500 out of 500 gone they're gone it's crazy it's crazy the marketplace is not even out yet but then brings me to another one we have this right here i just minted this rock as you can see here purple heart um and, you know, I, this is like one of my first collections. It was about, uh, what, 300 Phantom? Let's go to Mint Another. And this is cool because you randomly generate it. So, like, generate a Jantum. They call it a Jantum. Uh, a Gem Phantom. And look, there's only 3,000 out of 10,000 minted. If you guys have been watching NFT World, there's been these little rocks that have been selling for a lot on OpenSea. This is the same concept. Randomly generated. They're asking for about 307 Phantom. Phantom at this time is worth about 92 cents. So, that's about, about 280 bucks. You can mint it. And I know it sounds like a lot, but this is way cheaper than anything on Ethereum. Like this is like, they're so expensive. Like you could buy some NFTs, like, like I said, for $50,000. So if this ever gets to those heights, this is where you get the 100X. And then this is the one where I minted a lot, Shiba Punks. There's only 903 minted out of um, uh, 15,000. So you guys have a lot of time. It takes the Shiba Inu hype craze and the Punks hype craze and they put them into one you can mint it i mint i minted 10 myself these are minting for what like about 250 phantom which is about 250 bucks 200 and you know 30 bucks i did 10 of them uh so you guys can see clearly see that i'm in it now again what i'm really hyped for is 
them being able to move to Ethereum. Because if that ever happens, then it's going to share liquidity, um, at least in the NFT uh, ecosystem. There's a couple of other one. This one's sold out. This one's gone. Uh, you know, I wish I would have got into this one, but I just want to make you aware of it. We also have this. I've never seen this before. Maybe they have an NFT world. Maybe I'm too new. Uh, but right here, you could stake Phantom. Instead of actually buying the NFT, they'll let you claim NFTs by staking Phantom. You could stake the Phantom. You could stake it. And they'll give you NFTs. I haven't jumped into this one just yet. I got to do some more research on it to make sure it's okay. But I wanted to make you aware of it. This is bitgem.co. If we come over here, this is like the last one here. I mean, this website doesn't even look like it's working. This is how early we are. Um, but if we click products right there, you can get some uh, official NFTs. <laughs> That's pretty good. But yeah, interesting stuff, guys. Pay attention to this NFT market. Now, let me just give you a brief breakdown. This is not going to be a complete tutorial. If you do want the complete tutorial, I launched it in my course, um, you know, fundamentalsecrets.com. But for here, I mean, I just want to look at the price. Hold on, because I got into Phantom. Okay, we're pumping. I've already made at least like 15% on that. But yeah, it's very simple. If you go to the Phantom Foundation slash blog, you can see the, the top here. Just Google search it. Basically, what you have to do is create a custom RPC. So you have to use MetaMask. And if you've never used MetaMask, you probably don't want to get involved with this. This is very, very risky stuff. Like I could be completely wrong. The bridge cannot ever come out. Um, and, you know, uh, Phantom could go to zero. That's just completely possible. But I've done it with a couple of blockchains. I've done it with the Binance Smart Chain. I've done it with a whole bunch. So basically what you want to do is you want to go into MetaMask. You want to come over here um, and you want to add a custom RPC. Boom. And then you just want to input what you see there, uh, copy and paste that into the custom RPC. And then what it's going to do is going to give you access to another network called Phantom Opera. As you see here, I could switch it from Phantom Opera to Ethereum mainnet and back and forth. As you can see, Phantom Opera, right? So once you actually get um, you know, the wallet in fan. This is basically just creating a wallet for the Phantom smart contract ecosystem. What you want to do is come over to this website called Multichain XYZ, and you want to take your phantom because you got to buy phantom right this is just like ethereum to where if you want to buy nfts you have to use eth to buy the nft you want to use eth to mint to nft it's the same thing so i actually purchased off of sushi swap because sushi swap has the best liquidity i purchased ftm so i'm sure you guys know how to do this you could buy ftm on multiple websites uh, if we come down here you don't need to buy it off of sushi swap there's other there's hit btc there's binance you could just buy the ftm then you want to come over here to the top. You want to send it to your Ethereum wallet because remember, Phantom is an ERC20 token, but they also have a Phantom version on the you know, Phantom smart contract platform. If a lot of this goes over your head, you probably don't want to try it. You want to do some more research. Uh, you know, Just don't FOMO in just because I'm making these videos, guys. You want to learn a little bit. If you've never done this before, you really want to learn. If you've never used decentralized finance, you, you guys really want to learn. But basically, you want to buy FTM, the ERC20 version, which I bought on SushiSwap. It's just like a decentralized exchange. I'm sure most of you know how to use it. I bought FTM, which is already up, which by the way, that's great. I made money on it. I love it. I have a little bit more that I have in my wallet. And what you want to do is you want to bridge it. You want to bridge it over to the Phantom Network. And the way you do that is with multichain.xyz is what you want to use to bridge it. You come over here, you click what you want. As you can see here, Phantom on the Ethereum Network. You can see clearly they're putting Phantom on Ethereum Network. I have a little balance there for you. Um, and then you want to pick phantom boom and what you do is you put how much you want to do i want to do whatever max uh there you go and you transfer i'm not going to transfer that just yet i'm saving that for the tutorial i'm about to make for the course um and you transfer it over um and then it will pop up in your wallet if i come over here i switch networks i'm going to come over to uh phantom opera right here you can see I click assets and it doesn't look normal. It doesn't look like you're normal because this is like brand new. But you can see I have these phantom tokens in there and activity right here. Um, and if you want to like look at it, like actually look at it, you can go to phantomscan.org and here's my wallet. You can see I received 42 minutes ago some phantom, 34,920. And then I minted NFTs there. Yeah, see I minted two of them. I minted the rock and I minted the Shiba punks. So there you go, guys. This is an NFT that is still mintable. Phantom Bridge hasn't even come out yet. When that comes out, it's going to be big. This is a super long-term investment for me. I'm not thinking about this in the short term in any way, shape, or form. Phantom is just recently broke fast all-time high. I called it down here. Guys, you know, just be a little bit careful. But usually when it breaks all-time high, we're in no man's land. And we're going to continue to go higher. That's usually what happens. I would not be surprised if uh, Phantom gets some real adoption here. Let's see, what, let's see the market cap. 
Let's see what's going on. Market cap's only 2.3 billion. I would not be surprised if this is a top 20 coin very soon. Let's go to CoinGecko. Let's see where it's at. I mean, Polygon's top 20, and you know we're getting a little bit more out of this. This is the 24-hour volume. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Phantom 3 to 4 Xs in the next maybe couple of months, if they get that NFT bridge, and if the market continues to go higher, if altcoin season continues, there's a lot of variables here. And of course, if NFTs uh, stay in the bubble that it's in, then again, it could be very, very good. And by the way, just to give you guys a heads up, I called FTX token in our group too as well. Just to throw that out now just prove it to you real quick a lot of updates that people have been asking me look it's very hard to make a youtube video to update you like as quick as possible just because i have a lot of things going on but look you can see i called the phantom right here if i scroll up i'm showing people what i'm doing i made some money off of Ethereum, a lot of money off of Ethereum, and you can see here i called this a couple days ago buying ftx or ftt it's just relatively straightforward when you guys have the cycle trading strategy and you understand what's going on you're looking at the market conditions it's not like it's perfect it's not 100 percent predictable but if you watch the innovations in the market it becomes predictable and you can become a profitable trader guys and the only reason i make trades is to outcompete ethereum and bitcoin if you're not outcompeting ethereum and bitcoin you're wasting your time you might as well just huddle those coins but yeah that's it for this video if you like the quality of this content hit like if you don't leave some constructive criticism subscribe for more video updates and like i always say if you don't get with it you will get left behind thanks for watching this guys Catch you in the next one.